Lucas Luke 2. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caecar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Kurin Yi Yuk was governor of Aram, and all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Yosef also went up from Galil, out of the city of Nazareth, into Yahud, unto the city of David, which is called Beit Lechem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Miriam, his espoused woman, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a kuka, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of Yah came upon them, and the glory of Yahuwah shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David the Savior, which is Yahuwah, the Mashiach. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a kuka. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising Yah and saying, Glory to Yahuwah in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Beit Lechem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which Yahuwah has made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Miriam and Yosef, and the babe lying in a kuka. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Miriam kept all these things, and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising Yah for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. And when eight days were accomplished the, for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Yahusha, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And when the days of her purification according to the Torah of Moshe were accomplished, they brought him to Yerushalayim to present him to Yahuwah, as it is written in the statutes of Yahuwah. Every male that opens the womb shall be called holy to Yahuwah, and to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the statutes of Yahuwah, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. And behold, there was a man in Yerushalayim whose name was Shimon, and the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Yahshua'el, and the Ruach HaKadosh was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Ruach HaKadosh that he should not see death before he had seen Yahuwah's Eth Mashiach. And he came by the Ruach into the temple and when the parents brought in the child Yahusha to do for him according to the customary practices of the Torah, then took him, rather, then took he him up in his arms and blessed Yah and said, Yahuwah, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your Yahshua. 
which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the other nations, and the glory of your people, Yah Shedael. And Yosef and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. And Shimon blessed them, and said unto Miriam his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Yashadael, and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Yea, a sword shall pierce through your own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. And there was one Chana, a prophetess, the daughter of Penuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age, and had lived with a man seven years from her virginity. And she was a widow of about fourscore and four years, which departed not from the temple, but served at Yahweh with fastings and prayers night and day. G coming on rather, and she coming in that instant gave thanks likewise unto Yahweh, and spoke of him to all them that looked for redemption in Yerushalayim. And when they had performed all things according to the statutes of Yahweh, they returned into Galil, to their city of, rather, to their own city, Nazareth. And the child grew and waxed strong in the Ruach, filled with wisdom, and the grace of Yah was upon him. Now his parents went to Yerushalayim every year at the feast of the Pichach. And when he was twelve years old, they went up to Yerushalayim after the custom of the feast. And when they had fulfilled the days as they returned, the child Yahusha tarried behind in Yerushalayim. And Yosef and his mother knew not of it. But they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey, and they sought him among their kinsfolk and acquaintance. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Yerushalayim, seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why have you thus dealt with us? Behold, your father and I sought you sorrowing. And he said unto them, How is it that you sought me? Knew ye not that I must be about my father's business? And they understood not the saying which he spoke unto them. And he went down with them, and came to Nazareth, and was subject unto them. But his mother kept all these sayings in her heart. And Yahusha increased in wisdom and stature, and in favor with Yahuwah and man.